What a thrilling match at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. Real Madrid met Borussia Dortmund in a high-octane UEFA Champions League clash that ended with a stunning 5-2 victory for the home team. This match had it all. Key moments, standout players and some serious tactical battles. Vinicius Jr. stole the show, netting a hat-trick, while A. Rudiger and Lucas Vasquez added to the scoreline, making it a night to remember for Madrid fans. On the other side, D. Malen and J. Binoe Gittens found the back of the net for Dortmund, making things interesting early on. With high stakes and intense pressure, both teams showcased their strengths and weaknesses, leaving plenty to dissect regarding tactics, performances and those all-important goals. Let's dive into what went down in this electrifying encounter. At the 29-minute mark, Borussia Dortmund strikes first. Daniel Marlin receives a perfectly placed pass from Rami Bensebaini on the left wing. He expertly dribbles into the penalty box, showcasing his skill. With quick thinking, he lays the ball into the path of Julian Brandt at the centre-forward position. Brandt doesn't hesitate, sending the ball towards Serhu Guirassi lurking in the box. Guirassi, like a predator, redirects the ball back to Malen. Now, with all the space he needs, Malen unleashes a powerful shot from close range. There's no stopping him this time. The ball finds the back of the net on the right side, leaving Real Madrid's goalkeeper, Thibaut Courtois, with no chance. The away fans erupt in joy as their team takes an unexpected lead. This goal serves as a real wake-up call for Real Madrid, demonstrating that Dortmund is here to compete fiercely. The celebration is electric and it instantly sets a competitive tone for the rest of the match. Real Madrid has some work to do to find their footing, especially after conceding early against a high-caliber opponent like Borussia Dortmund. The intensity ramps up just five minutes later, at the 34th minute. Dortmund strikes again with another well-crafted goal. Daniel Malin, riding the momentum of his earlier success, picks up the ball on the right wing. He drives at the Real Madrid defence with determination, dribbling past a defender with ease. As he approaches the penalty box, he finds Joe Bino Gittens in a perfect position at the goal area. In a seamless display of teamwork, Malen passes the ball into the path of Bino Gittens, who is ready to act. With room to breathe, Bino Gittens takes his shot from close range and it ricochets off the bottom left corner of the net, sending the Borussia Dortmund fans into a frenzy once again. This goal is particularly significant as it doubles Dortmund's lead to 2-0, putting Real Madrid in a precarious position. This moment not only shows Malen's creativity, but also highlights Binary Gittens' poise in critical situations. It's a tough pill for the home team to swallow, increasing the pressure for them to respond. Let's talk about the standout performer for Real Madrid, Vinicius Jr. He absolutely lit up the pitch with a performance that was nothing short of exceptional. Scoring three goals, he made a massive impact and played a key role in turning the game around after a tough first half. His first goal showcased his skill Dribbling past defenders with ease, he found the back of the net at the perfect moment. On the second, he displayed excellent positioning, capitalising on a mistake from the Dortmund defence. Vinicius also assisted his teammates, showing his ability to create scoring chances. Overall, he earned a perfect rating for the match, making him the driving force for Real Madrid in this thrilling comeback win. His flair, speed and footballing IQ simply overwhelmed the opposition making him one to watch in the future. Real Madrid set up in a 4-3-3 formation, allowing them to dominate possession and control the midfield. They often used width to stretch Borussia Dortmund's defence, creating space for their attackers. Vinicius Jr and Kylian Mbappe exploited the flanks with their pace and dribbling skills, dragging defenders out of position. The pair combined well with Jude Bellingham and Luka Modric in the midfield, ensuring quick transitions and quick one-twos, which led to some brilliant build-up play. Defensively, Real Madrid's back four held their ground but had moments of vulnerability, particularly in the first half when they conceded two quick goals. Their response in the second half was impressive as they adjusted their pressing strategy, forcing Dortmund into mistakes and creating turnovers that directly led to goals. Real Madrid's expected goals of 3.5 highlighted their attacking efficiency, 
especially in the final third where they consistently found space and took their chances. Overall, their tactical setup effectively neutralised Dortmund's threats as the match progressed, showcasing their adaptability. Borussia Dortmund lined up in a 4-2-3-1 formation, aimed at providing stability in midfield while allowing quick counter-attacks. Initially, Dortmund executed their game plan perfectly, catching Real Madrid off guard with rapid movements and incisive passing. Daniel Malin's opening goal showcased their clinical approach as they capitalised on a defensive lapse. However, after taking the lead, Dortmund struggled to maintain their offensive rhythm. The midfield duo of Sabitzer and Nemecha fought hard, but they were frequently overrun in the second half. Dortmund's pressing game started strong, but diminished as Real Madrid's possession grew. Their expected goals of 1.58 suggested they didn't exploit their chances effectively, particularly after having a successful first half. As the match wore on, Dortmund's defensive resilience weakened, leading to unfortunate miscommunications that resulted in goals against them. They also lacked the composure in the final third that might have preserved their early lead, leading to a disappointing evening on their part. The tactical execution was commendable initially, but failure to adapt contributed significantly to their downfall in the latter stages of the game. As the game progressed, one moment sparked quite a bit of controversy. It happened in the first half, around the 38th minute. Jay Brandt made a slick run on the right side and took a shot that seemed to be heading for the top corner. However, T. Courtois managed to pull off a stunning save, denying Dortmund what could have been a crucial equaliser. While many celebrated the save, it also raised eyebrows over whether it was a clear foul just before the shot. The commentators debated fiercely whether there was a push in the back by a Real Madrid defender, which went unnoticed by the referee. VAR seemed to be absent in this moment, leading to frustration for Borussia Dortmund fans. The game was turning intense, and that moment highlighted the fine line between a game-changing foul and an incredible save. Later on, another incident stirred discussions from fans and analysts alike. In the 61st minute, Vinicius Jr. scored a goal, but the build-up to that moment was filled with drama. As Kylian Mbappe made a crucial contribution in the attack, he was fouled inside the penalty box. The Real Madrid players and fans thought that a penalty should have been given. The referee waved play on, allowing Vinicius Jr. to regain control and finish off the move with a goal. This incident brought up conversations on whether VAR should have intervened, as there were multiple angles showing potential contact. Borussia Dortmund's camp felt hard done by, believing they were denied a critical momentum shift in that moment. Ultimately, the lack of a penalty call added to the tension of an already thrilling match. Now, let's wrap things up without really wrapping up. Real Madrid emerged victorious with a stunning 5-2 win, showcasing their attacking prowess in the second half after a shaky start. Those first 45 minutes were all Borussia Dortmund. Pretty surprising, right? Daniel Marlin and Joe Binary Gittens struck early, putting the pressure squarely on the home side. But what's the hallmark of a great team? Resilience. And Real Madrid showed just that. As soon as the second half kicked off, they flipped the script. Antonio Rudiger, Vinicius Jr. and Lucas Vasquez all put their names on the score sheet, lighting up the Bernabeu like fireworks on New Year's Eve. Vinicius Jr. was utterly electric, leaving defenders in his wake. Looking ahead, this win not only boosts Real Madrid's confidence, but could be a pivotal moment in the group stage. They've definitely sent a message to the rest of the competition. For Borussia Dortmund, they'll have to regroup, find a way to retain that first half intensity and build on it for their upcoming fixtures, or risk losing their footing in the tournament. What's next for both teams? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, we can't wait to see how they respond in their next matches. So, what do you think about that wild encounter? Let's hear your thoughts 